okay friends very good morning let's continue the selenium session day one friends what is a selenium if anybody asks selenium is not an software it's an api jar file it's an application programming interface it's not a software like as a qdp qdp is one of the automation tool okay that's an software software contains with extension dot exe but whereas selenium it's not a software it's not a it not contains with extension dot exe it represents in a form of jar file dot jar okay dot jar so my selenium is a jar file my selenium is a jar file so the backbone to work with the selenium the prerequisite is we must have get installed java in your system you must get install java in your system not only selenium like a emergency technologies like a hadoop also it's not in software it's also an jar file it's an api jar file that hadoop also been developed using java technology only to work with the hadoop also we must get install java in your system on top of we want to work with hadoop download the hadoop api jar file configure to the current project and you can develop the hadoop projects if you want to develop the selenium automation first you install java in your system on top of download this selenium api jar file and needs to get configured to your current project then we can develop the selenium automation right such a way so selenium and uh, hadoop those are being developed using java for java every file is take the extension with dot java any any language any language even if you go to c sharp dot cs even go with python dot py like this you are having various extensions for respect to programming languages for java it takes extension dot java for every dot java corresponding dot class file is getting generated for every dot java file dot class file is getting generated dot java is a source code dot class is a byte code which is generated by the jvm so once we develop the some programs while getting dot java files then we'll be delivering that project to the client that needs to get converted into the jar file that project once we develop once the development once the, once your development was done you have to convert that project into the jar file once you are converting this all the dot java into the jar file okay once you convert a dot java into jar file it takes a dot class file into the jar file dot class file files into the jar file because dot java is a source code dot class is a byte code once you convert the uh, da, uh, project into the jar file it takes all dot class files only into that that's nothing but jar file jar is a kind of zip file in windows system how we compress the files when huge file is there to move from one location to other location what we do we used to compress that uh, huge file into the zip file then it it move it moves to the small size right that's nothing but jar is a kind of as a zip file the dot java will be converted into jar file taking consideration the files as a dot class files into the dot jar file such a way the selenium and selenium community and hadoop community take the backbone of the java and have been developed some set of libraries for hadoop and selenium and they have been converted into the jar file that's why don't say anyone ask me sir selenium is not a software it's an api jar file it contains a uh, some set of libraries like uh, packages classes interfaces everything methods everything get defined under this api jar file okay if anybody asks what is selenium selenium is an api jar file fine so in first we the official site for selenium is the selenium hq.org if, if anybody asks what is the reference documentation for the selenium means uh, you should say selenium hq.org is the reference site for the selenium here see we can see some tabs are there projects download documentation support about like this so many tabs are there okay so i am telling the prerequisites uh, to start with the selenium okay before that let let me brief about the uh, what are the components what are the projects available in the selenium the letter will be starting prerequisites for uh, starting with the selenium let's 
click on the projects first tab here click on the projects here we go here we can see four projects are available here selenium web driver selenium grid selenium id selenium remote controller like these four projects or we can call it as a four components the first first project or component in selenium got implemented was selenium id integrated development environment so to work with the selenium id not required any programming knowledge not required any programming language you must know how to start recording how to stop recording that's it during starting and stopping the recording in meanwhile we'll be recording what are the test cases we, we have with us manually what we do we see the test cases and we'll be do the working flow moving the manually right everything we are doing steps in a manual way so the same way we are doing while doing this manual process before doing before starting this manual process we start the recording and the the, the operations we are performing according to the test cases and once the operation was done for the test case uh, lastly we stop the recording so before uh, ending the recording what are the statements what are the steps you moved uh, everything get recorded in a form of html dot html so not required any programming knowledge if you are supposed to work with the selenium id just record and play back to that's it not audible so friends is everyone facing the same problem friends is it okay no okay fine so so here that the advantage in the using selenium id is the thing is not required any programming knowledge when come to the when come to the disadvantages of using selenium id is the yes it is not a browser specific it's a not a browser specific friends testing should be done not only in one browser because end customers can open your business in varieties of browsers and varieties of platforms one customer can open your business in a chrome some may open in a safari some may open your business in a chrome like this different different browsers the customers can be open your business so so i need to i need to check thoroughly testing in all the browsers cross browser testing so which means one test case supposed to get executed in multiple browsers so we are using the id it's specific to the browser in one browser we are going to be record in that browser is going to be execute not all the browsers is going to be execute it's not a browser specific is a browser specific okay see here chrome and firefox extensions see selenium id is a is a chrome and firefox extension that makes it easy to record and playback test in a browser not in rest of the browsers of course only in the user friendly in firefox only have full fledged we can record and playback in chrome means as it is but it's some challenging address of browsers no that's why the selenium i is not a cross browser testing specific to the browser is going to be executed but recorded scripts not executing on the browsers is one of the disadvantages going with the id and one more disadvantage is some of the uh, hi sir i am unable to listen so friends is it okay now yeah thank you friends so one more disadvantage is uh, one more disadvantage is uh, so, so all the web elements some of the advanced web elements cannot be re recorded some of them are using the id not all the web elements can be recorded by using id this is one of the disadvantage and one more disadvantage is parameterization concept friends once we are developing the automation script space the script supposed to be get executed more than one time that script supposed to be get executed more than one time with the different sets of data with the different sets of data friends during recording you are as a user you are providing some inputs to the script what you're recording so while recording also it takes the inputs by the time of recording what you provided that inputs will be stored in the recorded scripts right 
right and but uh, but uh, if you are running for more than one time same set of data only going to be check during recording during recording what we have given the input the same input is giving for multiple times but not the different sets of data it's one of the disadvantages there is no kind of parameterization there is no such kind of parameterization concept is not applicable to take the multiple sets of data during the selenium ide that's why these are all the disadvantages while coming to the selenium ide one is disadvantage is it's not it's a only browser specific it can't be executed for all the browsers and not all the web elements are not recorded recorded using the ide and next parameterization concept is not possible is all the disadvantages while going to the selenium id the only advantage is we can not require any programming knowledge while working with the id so id nowadays we never use in the real time also most of the people says id is meant for to identify the properties of the web elements no even though so many tools are there to recognize those are very very advanced in identifying the locators for the web elements id nowhere will be used in the real time okay of seeing this many disadvantages of seeing this many disadvantages in selenium id the next project or component was been implemented yes id can be worked with the chrome and firefox only that to not 100% can be recorded some of the elements cannot be uh, some 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 elements cannot be recorded using this uh, id that's one of the disadvantages okay of course chrome and firefox uh, firefox is user friendly it's going to be work for some extent uh, but chrome having some challenges to record okay that's why we never uh, use this uh, id in a real time so next project uh, next component uh, was introduced uh, that's an selenium remote controller simply we call as an rc selenium remote controller simply we call as an rc one step Entrance. One second. Yeah, sorry, friends. So here, <clears throat> so next component or project we call as a Selenium remote control shortcut. We call as an RC. Okay. Here, here, we started developing the automation script in this remote controller. here we must know the some programming knowledge to develop the automation scripts in a selenium remote controller so how many languages my selenium supports in automating means four languages any of the language we can prefer to automate the automation selenium automation scripts what languages java c sharp ruby and python using either of these four languages we can prefer to do the selenium automation right when working with a remote controller using either of these four languages we can start developing the automation scripts the, the scripts what we are developing in remote controller it's a browser based robust automation scripts browser based writing a script a script can be executed in all the browser that's why it's a browser specific automation scripts we are developing using the remote controller see selenium remote controller is a client server system that allows you to control web browser locally or on other computers using almost any programming language and testing frameworks so using almost any programming language and using almost any testing frameworks like junit and testng these are the testng these are the java frameworks testng and junit these two are the java frameworks using either of these frameworks using either of the java c sharp ruby python any of the programming language we can develop the browser based robust automation scripts sir. that script supposed to get executed in a single system and also we can execute in a multiple systems which are internally connected in a client server system friends one automation script supposed to get executed multiple times i said right in multiple browsers so different different systems uh, will be in a lan so system 
many clients will be there. One client a system getting configured with Windows with Chrome. One system getting one more with sitting in one server. I am triggering the job to execute in all the systems in different platforms and different browsers, which are everything is internally connected in the LAN systems. There was some problem with audio. Uh, yes, friends, uh, uh, I agree with that because today uh, my power was gone. I was using some alternative device. Due to region, please bear me for today. If you don't mind. Okay. Just for today only. Uh, suddenly, power has gone here. I was using this. You know, it was working fine. Now it is not, right? That's what. I'm sorry for that. Uh, um, Interruption once again. Let me try to change my position at least. That can make some audio can. So, friends, is it okay to some extent? Okay. So, Selenium remote controller here we must uh, involve in knowing the some programming knowledge Java, C sharp, Ruby, Python, either of that. And that once we write the code, that is a browser based writing a code once that can be executed for many times in many browsers in many platforms with one script only. Such a way we are designing that can be get executed in a client server system. Client server, you know, one server, many clients will be there, right? Like this. But nowadays, friends, sir, every 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 system is in a cloud nowadays. There are many no one is using the client server system nowadays in a, in a single room they're not maintaining more than one systems and now they're executing from one system to multiple systems right nowadays everyone using the cloud-based systems what they do they used to purchase the cloud missions having many many cloud missions are there or i uh what i think box are there virtual missions are there vmware are there google cloud is there amazon right google cloud amazon clouds like there's so many so many vm missions are there Simply they are purchasing the infrastructure in a cloud instead of maintaining the infrastructure in a physically in your office premises. They are purchasing for how much days they require that many days they are purchasing the license and they are sitting in one system and they're configuring to the cloud missions sir, in different different cloud missions sir. sitting from home. We can execute the scripts in multiple systems in a cloud. Now we can reduce the cost factor, right? Yes, and also how many days we required for our project that many days only we purchase the view missions and rest of this we are we are safe for the financial part, right? That's all. So here remote controller will not support to execute our automation scripts in a cloud systems. It only execute the client server system. Okay, either browser locally or on other computers which are internally connected in the same premises. That's a disadvantage in the remote controller so of course it is executing browser specific but in a client server system in local systems everything is interconnected in that local systems only it is getting drive the executions so to overcome this problem from remote controller the next component our project got implemented was the selenium web driver selenium web driver here how we uh, develop the automation scripts using any programming language any frameworks the same n number of uh, programming language n number of testing frameworks we are using here also in web driver in developing the browser specific automation scripts oh, so the part of this okay yeah i will tell that yeah i will tell that i will tell that yeah sure so selenium web driver so in remote controller how we read the browser specific automation scripts same we are developing in the web driver also the only the difference for web driver and the remote controller is nothing but in remote controller developer automation suits will get executed in the client server system where the driver can drive a browser natively either locally we can execute or in a remote missions we can execute that's the only difference in the web Driver scripts can be executed locally or remote missions. Whereas remote controller scripts can be executed in a client server, okay, either locally or not. That's the difference for this two. 
So nowadays everything out. It's a very simple way on every operating. So get a web driver only. If anybody asks what component of Selenium you are using, means a web driver with the grid we have to see. And let me come to the grid. Okay, whether using Selenium web driver to develop the automation suit or whether you use the remote controller to develop the automation suit doesn't matter. But anyhow, remote controller scripts and web driver scripts supposed to get executed in a multiple systems. With what help will be executing multiple systems? With the help of the Selenium grid only. Selenium grid is a another level to promote your automation suits to execute in a multiple systems with the help of the grid only. See here, Selenium grid takes a Selenium remote control web driver to another level by running tests on many servers at the same time. At the same time, those are going to be driving executing in multiple systems. What is advantage here where we can cut down the execution time? It takes to execute multiple browsers and multiple operating systems in a single time span. We can complete our executions. So remote uh, Selenium grid is one of the component on top of the layer for web driver scripts to execute and as well to execute the remote controller scripts also. Okay. Yes. So remote controller with combination grid we use web driver with combination grid we use and so which is the appropriate project for Selenium automation means web driver and grid. Because remote control has been deprecated officially. I'll be showing you that. So once uh, first of all, once we open the Selenium HQ.org site, then we can find which part of Selenium is appropriate for me. If anybody asks question, then you have to say Selenium web driver is a symbol, Selenium grid is a symbol. This is the appropriate combination for Selenium. See so here, what a web driver does which creates a robust browser based regression automation suits and tests. And once we develop the browser based automation suits, sir, next, what is the what is the uh, nature of this grid? Yes, once we do it across any environment, that's the nature of the grid. OK, this is a definition for web driver. This is a definition for the grid. As I said, the remote controller has been officially deprecated. See here. Is a successor of a Selenium remote controller, which has been officially deprecated. So ID we never use because it's not a browser specific automation suits and a remote controller which executes in a client server system, which is not in a cloud. The which is supporting is the web driver and grid combination only. That's why if anybody asks what is the component in Selenium we prefer to automate means a Selenium web driver with the grid. So RC got deprecated. Now we got some information, right? Yes. Under the projects, we're having four projects. First project is Selenium ID. Second is the Selenium remote controller. Third is the uh, web driver. Of course, grid is uh, one of the component which is associated with the remote controller, which is associated with the web driver appropriate combination is web driver with the grid got it friends yes perfect now what are the prerequisites to start with the selenium next question now we have to download the language bindings as i said my selenium supports various language bindings like java c sharp ruby and python either of these language bindings we can prefer to take as right doing the automation scripts. So what language you prefer that supported language binding jar file we have to download it and that needs to get configured to your current project. If you want to develop the automation scripts using Java language binding. Yes, download the Java jar file. If you want to develop the automation scripts using the C sharp download the C sharp API jar file and automate the respect to the C sharp language binding you do the automation. So how can where I can get download this language bindings? Yes, here the second tab is the download tab is there. Go to the download tab. Here we can find the one second. 
here we can find if you come down slowly here we can see selenium client and web driver language bindings one header was there selenium client and web driver language bindings here java language binding is there and c sharp language binding is there ruby and python these are the respective language bindings are there these are the versions these are the languages these are the client versions and these are the release dates when this get released the on this information and if you want to download this language burning java we need to click on this download and there is one more link is called change logs this change logs contains the prior versions of history now we can see that java language burning what is the version 3.141.59 was there earlier older versions history what are the deprecations what are the add-ons what are the fixes what are the better solutions given for the version to version every version history can be stored in this change logs if you click on this change log here we can see the top in our dashboard version language binding for java as a 3.141.59 if you click on change logs along with this version history and previous version history also i can see over there let me click on change logs yes was loading see your friends here we go the 3.141.59 is there these are the some restores happen some fixes some increment some implementation on these things okay these are the okay in this version these are the implementations in 3.141 these some are removed some are deprecated some are acknowledged some are deleted some are removed some are fixes like this version to version history what are the fixes deprecations everything can be seen this change logs let's come back and here java docs so friends sir so even if you purchase any mobile any any automobile sir okay for every for every product we having some official apa documentation every everywhere we having some manual documentation for respective product what the documentation contains manual documentation it contains its specifications and features of the respective product same way here we basellem supports various language bindings java c sharp ruby python what language you prefer to do the automation that language specific documentation is available here for c sharp c sharp supports like i want to see the language binding java document specification so directly you click on java docs friends don't feel this java docs is a pure java api documentation this is a java api documentation irrespective to the selenium supported libraries yes getting yeah let me open is loading yeah see friends here see here here we can see org.openqa.selenium org.openqa.selenium.com like edge firefox like this all are the packages for yes now if you want to show you the java api documentation pure java api documentation so we having so many versions of java are there java 7 java 8 java 9 10 11 like this 12 like this we having so many versions of java are there what version you are working currently that version api document you have to open even if you want to purchase any shift related models car lxi vxi zx variants are there which version you are prefer to buy that version documentation you prefer because that specific version uh, feature specifications i can see in that respective document only the same way which java you are you want to watch that version api we have to open my is java 8 been installed in my system i'm searching for java 8 api if you want my means java 9 api like this we have to search okay once we click on that overview platform sc8 oracle log if we click on that here we can see the pure java api documentation <clears throat> on second it is being loaded yeah see friends
Java Platform Standard Edition 8 API specifications. See the packages java.applet, java.awt, java.awt. These are Java APIs. Java APIs. Let's go back. Now, if you want C sharp language bending Java file to download, click on it. If you want to see the history, what are the deprecations, fixes, uh, see the Java, which means Java language bending, we have to download. What is the version? It is showing a dashboard 3.141. Find the is binding version, which means web driver three. Friends, here we have the web driver four. That's the alpha version, which is not at Okay. For recent. Recent, very recently, <coughs> 20 days back, uh, the, uh, uh, the Selenium web driver RC. Okay. Is it okay now? Is it okay now? Yeah. Thank you, friends. Thank you. So, see, friends. Here, the language. What is the version? Three one four nine final is the version. The dashboard was showing that. So, I was I was telling you the best practice. Always we have to take a Three, four versions below down to the versions we have to prefer to download the Java language banning. Why means sir? Because my Selenium is a open source. We now guarantee that how this latest dependencies will be working for our current needs. That's why you always prefer to download three to four versions below old versions language bindings we have to download. Okay, Ravi. Here we can see the dashboard latest version 3.141.59 was there. How can we see the older versions of language binding? Yes, I can show you. If you go top to the page, if you go top to the page, in top left corner, we can find the previous releases. You go click on the previous releases. Here we can see the versions. As I said, web driver 1, web driver 2, web driver 3. Web driver 4. See here, web driver 1 related versions was not there. Only web driver 2 series are there. 2.39, 2.40 up to 2.53. These are the, all the web driver 2 related versions. And web driver 3 from 3.0 to the 3.141 is the highest. These are all the web driver 3 related language spending data. Now, recently I said WebDriver 4 got launched. It's an alpha version. Recently, 20 days back only. Of course, it's supposed to get launched on uh, December 25th of 2018. But uh, by that time, the what that announced the data, uh, they didn't release. They didn't launch on that release on December 25th, 2018. They have launched 20 days back only. They have launched WebDriver 4. WebDriver 1 is nothing but Remote controller, Selenium remote controller, RC. But remote controller has been deprecated officially. There is no meaning of maintaining WebDriver 1 jar files. 
that close fine next come to the web driver 2 and web driver 3 <coughs> and web driver 4 web driver 2 web driver 3 web driver 4 all are led to the selenium web driver only okay now fourth generation of web driver is going on before third generation web driver before second generation web driver first generation web driver got deprecated because of rc got deprecated the supported web driver one will not be available okay yeah now so even web driver 4 launched recently don't prefer that still some flaws are there let me uh, conclude that okay fine so i'll go with the web driver 3 only web driver 3 that to 3.141 is there 3.141 is there is the highest version the web driver 3 so in this what i am saying before three four versions you prefer to take the okay versions so above this three four versions back i was going above that 3.14 3.13 3.12 i will go with 3.12 language binding jar file okay better this is the best option always take three four versions below versions taking that 3.12 i was going with the language binding yes here we have the yes selenium java selenium java 3.1.12.0 zip file is there this is this is what we have to download this is what we have to download okay so even if you are being a dashboard like this once you open selenumhq.org once you click on the download once you scroll down under this selenium client and web driver language bindings is the java language binding if you want to download the latest language binding like this means we supposed to click on this download click on this 3.141.59 version <coughs> see directly is getting downloaded see 3.141.58 but what i was saying don't prefer this version because latest versions we should not prefer all this okay for that what i said go to the previous releases take three four versions below okay here latest is 3.141 above is the 3.14 3.13 3.12 i'm going with this under this we have selenium java 3.12.0 download this one okay this is one of the pre to start with the selenium okay let it get download in meanwhile let's go with the one more precondition yes friends now we're done with the downloading the selenium client web driver language binding next prerequisite was the <coughs> drivers drivers friends sir suppose you are we want to watch a movie or a songs in a laptop what is the precondition without having the audio drivers without having the video drivers can we play or can we watch the movies in the laptop? No. Those are the dependencies sir, to watch a movie or to listen to music. The drivers are required. Audio drivers and video drivers. Same way, once the once I was developing the browser specific automation suits, sir, they're supposed to get executed in the multiple browsers. So Chrome, Firefox, IE, like this, many browsers I supposed to get executed. Which browser I, I supposed to get executed? The browser specific drivers I require. If you want to execute in a Chrome, Chrome driver exe, we need to download. It's a open, it's a free. If you want to execute Firefox, Firefox driver exe, we have to download. So let's try to download the browser drivers. Okay. Scroll down. We come to some extent. Here we can see third party drivers, bindings, and plugins. Third party drivers bindings and plugins please come down third party browser drivers are not developed by the selenium community friends the respective browser drivers those are not get developed by the selenium community some third party teams has been developed and they have contributed to the selenium community okay here if you want to if you want to get the firefox drivers mozilla geeko drivers we have to prefer if you want to interact with the Chrome, Google Chrome drivers, we have to download. If we Opera, this one, Microsoft Edge, Safari, like this, what are the browsers available? For all browsers, we have the drivers available here. 
except IE. See, there is no Internet Explorer drivers are there, not there, right? Appium is there, Blackberry is there, Serenoid, Windows Phone, Safari. There is no Internet Explorer drivers was there because this Internet Explorer drivers, these are only designed by, these are only developed by the Selenium community. Rest, every browser drivers are developed by the third party teams. They have contributed to the Selenium community. That's why as a header we can see third party browser drivers not developed by the Selenium HQ. Now I want Firefox drivers. So click on this Mozilla Geekho drivers. <clears throat> I think uh, it's not one second. One second. So, Mozilla Kiko drivers uh, to the right side, we can find the latest link. We have to click on that. Click on the latest. Here we can see the driver versions 0 0.24.0, which was launched on the January 29. If we come down, these are all the drivers. So, Windows supported, Win32 64 bit supported. Firefox drivers for Mac supported Firefox drivers for Linux 32 64 bit supported Firefox drivers. These were 0 0.24.0 versions. The below is the 0 0.23.0 is there. Here also we can see down. Okay, of course, here it is not showing here, but only 0 0.24.0 version only. Here we can see this all of these. Here we can see here. In the 0 0.24.0, what are the new things got added in the drivers? What is the reason for coming this new version? Some adding, some add-ons will be added for these drivers. And for remove, some, some of them will be get removed. Some of them going to be changed. It's nothing but change logs for the drivers. Right? A fixes was happened for the drivers. And these are the version supports for various ways. And version 0 0.23.0 is there means here we having some change logs was there. But here we can't see any, we can't see any drivers to download. So if you're not shown here, don't worry. Directly you click on this version. You scroll down. Here we can see the drivers. Get it? So I need to download the drivers directly. What is it? Yeah. In the 0 uh, 0.24.0, under this version, I'll go here. Mine is Windows 64 bit. I'll go download this Geekho driver 24.0, 64-bit. Yes, this is one of the prerequisites. And next, I want Chrome drivers. Yes, go to the home page, go back. Yeah. If you want the Chrome drivers, means in the Google Chrome driver, click on the latest. Here we can go Chrome driver 75, Chrome driver 74, Chrome driver 73, like this having some other. So for especially for Chrome, before downloading the drivers, some precautions we have to take. First of all, we have to check what is the Chrome browser installed in your system. How can we check? Go here. Help. Google Chrome. About Google Chrome. There we can find the version is version of Google Chrome installed in the system is the 74. The 74 supported drivers we have to download in your system. Suppose your work, suppose client is expecting that we could you please run our automation scripts in a uh, Chrome 65 browser, 65 version. You may ask 65 version. Our script supposed to get executed. 65 browser supported drivers we have to download 74 is asking me 74 supported chrome drivers we have to especially for chrome we have to look after this compatibility okay in my system chrome 74 version has been installed so 74 supported drivers we have to download okay yeah see here 74 supports chrome version 74 so here, if you click on this 74, Chrome driver 74 here. 
here we can see here so 74 supported drivers so here windows 32 is there 64 was not there so even your windows is a six windows 64 also you can go with the chrome driver win 32. if it is a linux means a voice linux means a linux 64 is there for mac take this one so based on your voice we have to take the drivers back okay now no. suppose suppose the client is asking ravi could you please could you please uh, run your automatic scripts on a windows 65 so what i will go first i will check the compatibility how do i can check yeah click on this latest same latest but earlier we have downloaded directly this one because we know chrome 74 supported drivers here is there we click on this we can see the this one right but now i want 65 let's come down Come down here it is 71 to 73 these are the drivers here 70 to 72 these are the chrome driver supports for 69 to 71 these are the drivers for this these are the drivers like this having some compatible list is there 67 to 69 these are the drivers but there is no 65 supported drivers was there don't worry for that let come down come on come up slowly so from here, from here, from here, yes, let's take Chrome driver 2.46 is there. So all here is showing version as a uh, same thing Chrome driver 73 is showing here. Version number as a Chrome driver is showing here. Here also version also showing as a version as a 74. Okay, what do you do? Chrome driver 2.46 is there. Click on this, click on this. Okay, here we go. 2.46 supported drivers. This one, but I want a 65 browser supported drivers. We want what we do simply click on the notes.txt here. Notes.txt, click on this. Here we can find the versions. See 71 to 73, these are the drivers. 70 to 72, these are the drivers. Like this, we have right. Yes. 65 to 67 2.38 is the drivers we have to download of course we can check uh, for this versions uh, what are the drivers supported like this we can watch here but while seeing this driver version how can where we can download this driver version so yes 2.38 drivers we got some information for 65 browser now go back here to check the compatibility we went for node.txt to download the respective drivers 2.38 we click on the parent directory you click on the parent directory click on this see here here we go 2.38 got it if you click on this here we go 2.38 these are the drivers for chrome mac and linux so especially for uh, chrome we have to check the compatibility let me show you once again yeah suppose you want to download the chrome drivers in the google chrome driver click on the latest okay here for 71 to 73 2.46 is there this is the latest drivers if you click on this we get the 73 version browser supported drivers 2.6 these are the linux mac and windows now i want 65 browser drivers so let's go and check the compatibility clicking on the notes.txt like this we'll check 65 is in the 2.38 drivers so i got the information let's come back now click on the parent directory here we go the driver version 2.38 it's now 2.38 version drivers what we want mac or linux or windows and we'll, we'll download that okay this is the prerequisite for the room <coughs> drivers and now if we want to execute in a microsoft edge here we can see microsoft edge was there 
you click on this microsoft edge so if you go here <clears throat> here we can see release something is there release something version 6 or something is there yes so before downloading the drivers for microsoft edge first of all we have to check uh, what is the edge version was being installed in your system here i'm having microsoft edge let me open that microsoft edge yes i want to check what is the version of microsoft edge in my system so you click on this uh, dot 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 and then you you click on the settings and scroll down and here we can see microsoft edge html 15.150.63 is there 15.15063 come here where is the 15.15063 yes this is thing we have to download so what is the edge version being installed in system that supported edge drivers we have to download getting like this we have to download okay and now let's come to the internet explorer driver let's go, go to the home page yeah. so friends internet explorer drivers are not present in under this third party drivers and bindings because that internet explorer drivers was designed by the selenium company it will not be presented under this third party see microsoft edge is there chrome is there uh, firefox is there safari so many other there is drivers over here I presented ie drivers if to execute an IE where I can get the IE drivers yes if you go top to the page if you go top to the page here we go the internet explorer driver server version of the IE driver is the 3.14.0 is showing here that too IE 32 we have to take some care to download the drivers friends what is the language binding of java we have downloaded 3.12.0 observe yes here in task for i was highlighting java 2.0 is the language binding i downloaded what was the language binding version you've been downloaded the same version of i drivers we have to download getting what i'm saying what was the language binding version you have taken the same version of i drivers we have to take but here, the IE drivers are taking version of what type of 3.14.4. But I want what IE drivers 3.12.0. Because of language binding, I have taken 3.12.0. So how can I take the older versions of IE drivers? Then the question comes like this. Then, then click on the previous releases. And click on your language binding 3.12. 3.12. Yes, earlier you downloaded Selenium language binding Java like this, but you want the Selenium uh, IE drivers. IE drivers. Here we go. IE driver Win32 is there. IE driver 64 was there. These are the drivers we have to download it. Friends? Yes. Now we have downloaded all the prerequisites. Java language binding we have taken. And a Chrome driver we have taken, Firefox driver we have taken, Microsoft Edge and IE drivers we have taken. Now, we have to configure this uh, Java language binding to my current project. Then I'll be using the, then I'll be using the, these libraries to open the browsers. While opening the browsers, we require the drivers. These drivers, what we download, we'll be using while we are opening that respective browsers tomorrow i'll be showing you practically uh, about the language binding java what are the web driver methods to launch the browsers 
how to configure this language binding how to configure this uh, dependent jar files to my code everything we'll see in that tomorrow session okay today we just see the what are the prerequisites sir what are the prerequisites sir, to start the selenium that we have seen today that's it tomorrow whatever we downloaded everything i'll show you how to configure in our current project how to launch the respect to respect browsers using some web driver methods is the tomorrow's agenda friends any doubt till here any doubt till here yes no collections i'll be covering so sir, file system objects how to read and write the data from excel is in the column number column name data providers and color with using collections how to read everything i'll tell that so during the during the selenium session i'll be teaching you all the things collections and file system objects okay friends i hope everyone understood today's concept prerequisites i will share this video just follow and as usually you download in your system tomorrow i will tell you how to configure how to load the respective browsers by configuring the respective drivers okay yeah. okay friends done for today we'll meet tomorrow with this agenda practically okay thank you thank you very much have a nice day bye bye